What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and we're going to talk about Planner. We're going to look at an action in Power Automate and Planner called Get Task Details. Now if you watched my previous video on Get Task, that allowed you to pass in an ID into your flow and then pull out some details about that um, Planner task. What get task details are is slightly different. Um, there's only a couple of fields, but one of them is actually quite notable. And that's why I want to throw through it today. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, I have a manual trigger flow. And if I go and click on new step, I can type into the search bar planner, choose a planner connection. And this option down here, or this action down here is get task details. So we click on that and it's going to ask me for a task ID. Now notice that it doesn't ask me for my environment, it doesn't ask me for my plan, it doesn't ask me for my group. It literally will just look through all the task details that you've got, um, that you have access to. So as you click on the show options button, you get a list of your tasks. Now you can choose one of these or you can enter a custom value if you already know the ID of your task. So if you actually know that do it, you can put that in there as a custom value. If you don't and you just want to choose from one of these, you can do um, enter custom value also works if you're creating a task as part of your flow and you can put the ID straight in there using Dino and Content. So if I click on uh, this one, which is very badly spelled, this is a test task from flow with no void assigned me to it. Um, really badly spelled, uh, I should really fix that, but uh, who has the time? So if I, um, so th this is what it's, this is what, what that does. Um, this is what this, uh, how you configure this. If we flick over to planner, we can actually see this, um, this task. So this is the name of it. We've got started on date, we've got uh, due date, we've got a description that says this is a description. Um, and, and that's about it really. Now if I go back to my flow and I click on test, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. Just wait for this to catch up for a minute. My flow is having a proper think about this today. There we go. Click on run flow, click on done. And we can see the flow run successfully. Now the details that you get out here are very basic. So we have the task ID. Um, so it's not even giving me the GUID, it's literally just a task ID. Um, but we get the ID down here, so this is the, the GUID of that task. And we also get a description. So that those are the only two pieces of information. We get the description and we get the ID. Now the description is quite interesting because this is the only, um, this is this is the, the action where you actually get the description. If you choose get a task, you don't get the description out, which I'll show you now. So if I go back and click edit, if I had a new step after this and go to planner, uh, choose planner, choose get a task, choose the same task, the one that's badly spelled, and we'll test this and we'll just save and test, run the flow, click done. So we can see this one, we get the description, this one we do not get the description. So we get the title of it, uh, we get whether it's from where, how much what percentage of it, of it is completed, start date, create on date, due date, has a description. So it's telling us we have a description, but doesn't tell us what the description is. The ID, the assignments, which again does not contain the description, and the plan ID and the reference count. So when you need to reference details that are inside a task, you actually need the get task details um, action and this just looks up and gets that description which I think is the only thing uh, that's really useful in this whereas the get task does not include the description I would like to see Microsoft update this so that the get a task actually includes other fields inside of um, inside of this action and then they can deprecate this one because I can't understand why this one is is there by itself um, the only output we get is this is a description so um, as always I'd like to know what you guys use this for uh, let me know in the comments down below um, what you use this for uh, I you know I would use this to 
get details of, of tasks out because you have the name of a task but sometimes you need uh, further information so I could get that out, put that in an email, send that to a colleague to say this is a task that's assigned, you don't have access to the planner board but this is what we're doing can you give me a hand with this or um you know is this something you can take care of if i give you access um you know we can we can do stuff like that and and getting these details out is really useful so that's what i would use this for but let me know what you use this for down in the comments down below if you like this video please like and please share it with your friends it is always appreciated if you've not already please hit that subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you next time